Hey everyone, I'm Okuri. Welcome to a quick Okuri Plays Rise video, whatever. I still don't know what to call these. Welcome to a quick one-off video. Today I'm going to be checking out Fire and Steel. I've actually played a little bit of this just to kind of make sure that it was worth showing you, and it definitely is. This is a game where you play as a dragon during World War II. <laughs> That's about it. You just are a dragon. And you're fighting Nazis. Uh, I think it's just Nazi. It might be U.S. soldiers too, but Nazis is fun. Nazis are fun to kill, so not gonna complain about burning some Nazis with dragon breath. Uh, this game is kind of cool. I actually really like it, and I thought it was worth sharing with you guys. It's five dollars on Steam. It's definitely worth checking out. I think the game is still actually technically in development. Uh, because there's a bit of... No, I think that... No, actually, yeah. Uh, apparently I'm on Act 2. Uh, it's a very cool game. Um, we're gonna hop into it and we're gonna just enjoy it and, uh, I'll explain things as we go. Hopefully it's not too loud. Apologize if it is. welcome to fire and steel this is pretty much what the game looks like so first thing i'm playing with mouse and keyboard i believe it works with the controller as well um the little bit that i did play at first i think it was with the controller uh so the goal is really simple it's just to kill as just to kill any of these red bits on the screen you can see what needs to be killed by holding down the middle mouse button and um it's really that simple uh my only complaint with the game is when you hold down the shift button which is what you use to speed up the game gets this weird blur effect around this the middle of the screen or the sides of the screen and it's a little disorienting at least for me i have weird issues with games when they do um sensory stuff like that uh, stuff like that uh but it's a small complaint, obviously. Uh, so these green bits are fish. Uh, you can go, you dive into them, you can run into them and quickly get some nice healing. You can also eat uh, the humans, I believe. I haven't actually gone to try it because going towards the ground is a bad idea because it just hurts. Uh, but... I believe it works. Oh, geez. A lot of damage there. I'm gonna. So you hold down the uh, you hold down the left mouse button to just burn things, and your right mouse button will send a fireball. But you have limited fireballs, so it's kind of not a good idea to use them unless there's just like a big, big group of guys you need to deal with. I'm getting my ass kicked. I need to eat. Thank you. All right. So like this fireball, boom dead uh i think my best advice would just be to hold down the left mouse button until you kill everything really the game is very generous with the uh length of the fire like it's it's a good distance and i think it actually goes further uh i think it actually goes further than it looks there's a lot of you guys down here. I just need to... Burn, burn, burn. Okay. 
Uh, the controls are a little awkward at times, I will admit. When, especially when you're not just kind of going with the flow. But it's very satisfying. I like that the bullets are very visible, so it's very satisfying to just dodge and weave through, like, uh, hellfire. Like a... a uh, a hellfire of bullets. Uh, one guy managed to survive that little onslaught I did. So yeah, uh, you're gonna be fighting just Nazis the whole time. I think it looks like that's what it is. I'm not gonna come. I like games that are weird like this. This game caught my eye because a I'm actually I actually really like dragon mythology. I think that stuff has always been. Really cool. Oh, jeez. I'm disoriented. And it's not something I've ever really... This is not the kind of thing I've ever really seen a game do. I've never seen a game with this kind of concept where you are the dragon. You are the big, giant, deadly beast. Just fighting an onslaught of bad guys like this. And I think the whole... I think the story is pretty simple. I think it's Nazis were digging in a old site and woke you up and you're like just an adolescent dragon. And so you're pissed off. You're taking them out. Oh, I just got, I think, a, I think a, Plane just smacked into me. I'll have to run that back. Okay. All right. Uh, let's try that again. I think some of the placements for the not um, the enemies is a little goofy, especially the humans. Like, why are these guys just there? Because I don't know why were they guarding that one bit? That's okay though. Woo, two and one. That's good. Why are there guys still down here? Ah, oh, little boat. Oh, that was a waste. Oh, not good. I also like that the dragon, which I just am now noticing, uh, shows visible damage to their wings as they get hurt. I really gotta get... Oh god, you're gonna kill me. Yum. That's a cool detail I did not notice. Ow. What is hitting me? Is it? Oh, there's a... I see. Okay. I'm getting my ass kicked again. I need to heal. Not exactly the best go with this, but I'm I'm fine. I shouldn't should have paid more attention to what was actually firing at me. Yeah, it's these. There we go. Alright. Now onto the planes, I think. Oh, there's one sole survivor. Yeah, you can like fly to birds like this and just chow down, apparently. Oh, it's not a sole survivor, it's a old jeep that is now dead all right let's 
get these things. Actually, kind of an interesting question. Would fire be enough to take down a plane? Like, obviously, we don't know how hot the fire would be, but, like, how hot would the fire actually have to be to take down a plane? Could it be, like, overheating the engine, maybe? Is that what it's doing? Causing the gasoline to explode just by pure touch, essentially? This game's got a lot going for it, genuinely. It's got some really good sound design. It's got just a fun premise. It's $5. I think it's $5. I could be wrong on that. If I am wrong, I'll be uh, changing that on the screen every time I say it. I don't know. You die. Die, please. All right, and that's that <laughs> level done. <gasps> oh. That's a different dragon. Am I about to be a different dragon? Did I wake up a dragon? <gasps> Are there different dragons? Shocking news. The Nazis have destroyed the secret American airbase. Sources have confirmed that we have suffered heavy casualties, yet our rage makes us more determined than ever. We will retaliate with all our might. God bless America and our allies. So wait, was... Okay. Like, this one's mine. <laughs> Alright, I'm a different dragon now. That's sick. What the hell are those? Oh my god, I am dying and I'm dead. That hurt. What are these things? Are they hurt? Fireball not hit you. That sucks. Okay, I'm gonna go heal. Is this this different? I don't think this is a different dragon. No, I'm the little red dragon still. God damn. 
Oh my god, this one's tough. Ow. They're supposed to be like helicopters, is that what these- I'm assuming they're supposed to be like early helicopters. design is actually really good. Alright. Need to heal because that looks like those weird helicopters. Yeah, no, planes. tough um you know what? i'll call it here you guys can play this on your own i feel like this was a good example of what this game is it's fucking good it's simple it's fun it's chaotic go play fire and steel genuinely highly recommend it 100 <coughs> percent okuri seal of approval go play it link in the description thank you for watching see you guys next time